Hey guys, it's me again. Missed me? I doubt. Um, yeah, we're back here, and um, I don't know. This I might scrap this video. I might not. I thought about trying something here. I wanna talk about things. I guess. I don't know. Don't have a huge amount of things lined up, but I have about five, uh, four items on uh, on the list. And uh, yeah, it, it it started me again. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I haven't done much well, since the last last episode. I basically just um, filled in this and dug uh, dug like this corner and kind of made it look like this, and also raised the wall a bit. And uh, throughout the whole thing, I've been thinking. Eh, if I wasn't in mumble, I could have recorded, but uh, I was I was too comfy in mumble, so I didn't. But um, a lot of people, as we, while we're crafting crafting this, apparently, uh, I run out of things, which are I think sandy bricks. Yeah. Well, in that case, let's remove. Uh, I can see it right here. Yeah, sandy bricks. How many were there left to craft? One hundred and two. Let's dis uh, not disable. Cancel that order and which one is it? This one, right? Right. And let's order. Order. Older. Let's order more coal carbon bricks. One. Oh, two. Nice. Gotta love this crafting. Gotta love it. Anyway, um, we were talking, as I, actually I was talking, specifically about, um, in my last videos, and it actually has been, um, has been a trend ever since I stopped playing vanilla. Everybody was um, wishing I would go back to play, to playing vanilla. And I'm not saying that vanilla is is bad. The only thing I'm saying is that vanilla doesn't really hold any any flavor to me. I guess I would. That's how I would formulate the sentence. I don't know. I I, I kind of got tired of vanilla, and I know <clears throat> the last uh, last patch a lot has been added, and in a way I kind of feel uh, intimidated intimidated by all the hoppers and all the um, comparators and whatever the guys did with those and it would be kind of um, rough for me to catch up so that that's one reason why I uh, I'm not sure exactly I don't really want to go back to vanilla as much as I like you guys uh, getting whatever you want to watch because as as much as I'm doing this for uh, for entertainment or I don't know I say that I don't care about people that watch me or about how many people watch me at least one person is enough but the thing is I'm sure and I'm sure most of you would agree that there's a very big difference between one people watching and a hundred or two hundred three hundred people watching you feel a lot better knowing that more people appreciate your work and it's not that i guess it's not that people don't appreciate my work they just don't care much about the type of work i am doing aka playing with mods they probably cannot relate a few people have mentioned that uh they don't really care about mod. They don't really care about mods. Uh, they want me to quote unquote play the same game as they are playing. Um, vanilla, spe specifically, I'm, I'm guessing. But like I said, uh, I'm I'm sorry to say, but there is probably no chance that I will ever go back to playing pure vanilla. And even if I was going to play vanilla, 
there are plenty of things in vanilla that I would uh, want changed. For instance, just this portable crafting or port portable workbench. The um, I've, I've been watching FTB videos and they do have the po pocket crafter, but that's just so cumbersome to use. You need to have nine uh, inventory slots free in your, well, inventory in order, in order to craft and the whole shebang that comes with it. I just find this way, way more convenient. And I do believe, um, com not complexity, but difficulty cannot be um, explained by bad ergonomy or bad, bad lack of ease of use, I guess I would, I would say, I would call it. Because once you know how to craft, once you started crafting, once you did your a hundredth crafting recipe, then I'm pretty sure that you already know how to craft. You shouldn't be required to use the same uh, uh, old crafting bench that you place down and all that jazz. It's way more convenient to hold it on your hotbar and craft on the go. And if you really want to explain the backstory, I mean, you could say that you just uprooted the um, top part of a craft bench, and this one exactly is made with crafting bench and a string. And the idea is, I you rip up the top, and you put it on a string, kind of like a belt on a purse, kind of like that would sit. That's that's pretty much the. The backstory behind the crafting recipe, that's how I explained it to myself and that's how I came up with the recipe. A little bit of a trivia, though I'm, sure not, I'm not sure exactly how many do care about it. But uh, yeah, so um, there are a lot of little tweaks that I would do to vanilla in order to accommodate my playstyle because, like I said, most of them, or a lot of them, a lot of things in, the vani in vanilla I would... Uh, I would like to see change then since I know how to make a mod now uh, how easy it is to tweak it just a little bit baby to be uh, to make it your own liking because we all know uh, we all like to um, customize our things we do have our custom wallpapers we have our ringtones and all that jazz so why not just customize minecraft if you can that is so yeah, the point I'm trying to make here is, even if I was to play vanilla, I would still play with mods. My own mods, but, and, well, maybe tweaks more than mods would be a better word, but it would still be mods. The only, the only play session of vanilla that I do without mods, as of right now, or at least as of a few weeks ago, which is the last time I played it, is uh, Vex's map, the Infernal Mines. And um, the plan in there is um, not just beat the map and kill all the mobs, conquer everything, light all the things up, but also try to build some decent looking things, not just the hole in the wall. If you guys um, watched um, Zisto's legendary playthrough. That's more or less the thing I'm aiming for. As uh, for the for there, just don't have enough uh, stuff as of as of right now. I mean, I have not even conquered my first location, my first area. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's coming. Oh baby, oh baby, it's coming, it's coming, and it has no fear. So if you like vanilla and you would want me to play vanilla or better i would should better say if you like to watch me play vanilla then that's the series you might want to watch that's the unfortunately for for you and i guess i'm indirectly to, for me too because i will suffer in the views category uh, that's the only vanilla experience you will ever see me play so but hopefully, even though if it's not survival survival, it's 
like kind of like an adventure survival. I, I think it still retains some of the vanilla aspect. I mean, I have no mods there, none, none at all. Not even, uh, not even Optifine. I don't even have um, texture packs as I do have in here. In this, um, this instance of Minecraft, and by instance I mean a copy of Minecraft with mods installed. Um, I, I figured, why the fuck not just go all the way? Don't stop nothing and well make no compromises so I installed everything <laughs> up to fine all the mods well all the mods that I deemed worthy well I have another one which is uh, the full dire wolf this one is just a few of the dire wolf well most of the dire wolf 20 mods well not dire wolf 20 mods but the mods from his mod pack but uh, yeah, and also have the texture pack. Oh my god, excuse me. I've been drinking some energies. Liquid energies. So, yeah. The fuck, did I calculate this wrong? No, I was just too retarded. And I did not notice that I am, that I placed this wrong. Well, yeah, another reason why I love crafting with that system is I can just calculate the amount I need, and I know I need 26 blocks per per, per multi-block structure, and I just multiply it with the amount of uh, ovens I, I need, and that's, uh, that's beautiful. I don't like overcraft, because then I am stuck with one single item that I will probably never use in one of my chests, and when I do decide I need it, or when I do find out I need it, I would have totally forgotten about it, and I would uh, craft another one. So, yeah, that's the reason why I don't like overcrafting. OCD much, yes sir, yes sir. So, that's, um, that's my stand on the vanilla issue. I would love to be able to help you guys get what you want, but I will not go, uh, I will not do something that I do not enjoy, and the main reason I don't want to do that is if you don't enjoy something and you film yourself doing that something, it's gonna show. If you don't, uh, I've noticed that even I enjoy my videos in which I was energetic and all jumping and ah, all alike. Uh, I enjoy those better when editing. People seem to receive them better. Uh, a lot more positive comments and uh, all the all the good stuff that came with that. So and pe and videos that I was bored or tired or something, people viewed it the, the same way. Uh, Here's another video from Akatera. Well, he's on the server, so I guess I'll have to give him a like. Even though I really don't think he deserves one. But here's one anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, just just kidding. I know you guys like giving me likes. Uh, no. Let's make some more concrete. Uh, I'll see about a stack. Gotta love making concrete. Well, crafting with this system. Have I ever mentioned that, that I do love that? Uh, yeah. Seeing these crap. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, sorry. I know I know you guys wanted, I just cannot deliver. Sorry. It's been, if you decide to leave, then have fun wherever you end up. I don't know. It's been fun while I had you, I guess. It's like a breakup. <laughs> Way to make something, make things melodramatic, Akatera. Who the fuck do you think you are, a drama queen? At times, I guess. I don't know. And the next topic, the next thing I want to talk about, I have a list here. I, 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 my memory is so um, borderline dumb that I had to make a list. <laughs> In order to make sure I remember things, and I am pretty sure I forgot to put some things on the list that I wanted to talk about. But um, there are, there are going to be next episodes, so why the rush?
The next thing, and I just found, not I just, I found out about this yesterday when I uploaded the yesterday's episode, or the episode I uploaded yesterday, and I was very psyched, and people were like, is this, is this Akatera, or who the fuck are you, you're never this excited, and that came to a surprise. Uh, for me as well, that was a surprise, a surprise for me as well, because I am not excited, not not usually excited. I don't know what the uh, fuck got into me, but oh well. Sorry, just a little bit more energy drink. And um, what that is is, I finally got partnered after two years on YouTube. I received a um, message. Well, when I wanted to upload my video, there was um message on blue saying congratulations you are now eligible to monetize your videos and I'm like what is th is this for speechless is this for real it's not even my birthday thank you guys so yeah, it's not necessarily for the uh, revenue as revenue although um, I don't like talking about money, but I cannot say I would mind getting money out of YouTube out of what I do right here. And indirectly, without hurting you guys or hurting myself. Well, I guess I could, I could, can, I could, I don't know. I'm going on a tangent here. But yeah, I, I would like to get some money, but I don't feel, I feel like guilty about running ads on my videos. YouTube, um has by default enabled monetization on, on my all my videos except a few which it deemed unworthy what i want to do now oh yeah grab some um, some what um i want to do a tank so yeah um one of the primary reasons why i wanted um to be able to monetize my videos, or at least to become a partner, is um, custom thumbnails. Always wanted to do that, and was able, never able to. But now I can, and that's going to be awesome. And I might, uh, I'm actually pretty sure I'm going to enable ads on, on, uh, on videos. If you guys mind, just turn on ad block, or walk away for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, what the fuck, 30 minutes, seconds, seconds, yeah, just walk away for 30 seconds, <laughs> oh god, uh, let's make some of these, what do we need, some orange dye and some zycordite, so yeah, I'm pretty psyched about that, can't wait to go through all my old vids and put custom thumbnails and all of those fucking things, Zyconium. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, let's grab four stacks of those. Sounds good. Where the fuck I'm gonna cook these? To the township of Burpcraft. Mm, excuse me. Um, but yeah. Can't wait. Cannot wait. And yeah, that's uh, that's the second. Hmm. Look at me being all organized. It's like I have a script. It certainly feels like that, and I can't hate it. Oh god, these text back. When I when I switch to sort text because I do build things in um, default, and then I switch to sort text to record. I don't know. The thing is. I'm kind of having a little bit of frame rate issues on uh, on my age as of right now. Plus, this whole f weird things where the um, let me show you here if this like is this a book? Is this really a book? Do you these issues combined with a whole bunch of other things? Where the fuck are the chests? See. All those issues that kind of piss me off. So, for a while, I've been um, playing with uh, the default texture pack. 
default textures, I should say. And uh, I kind of grown custom to it. And it helped with the frame rate as well because I do not have a beefy computer. I have a decent computer. It's nothing sp spectacular by any stretch of the imagination, but it does its job. And I guess the point I'm trying to make is, um, I don't know, I forgot. I totally forgot. Let's make some uh, some four stacks of stone brick. Oh, I think I already have four stacks of stone brick. Yes, I do. What else do I need? Uh, man, my, mem my memory is so is so diminishing. I need the skeleton spawner right over here. I need to grab some orange dye, yo, because I'm, we're about to make a tank that's gonna hold all our, all our lovely creosote oil. And it took me ages to be able to pronounce that word correctly. And I'm not even sure that I am pronouncing it. What the fuck am I doing here? Not even sure I'm pronouncing it correctly right now either. Creosote. Fuck. I don't know if it's correctly or not. You guys tell me in the comments. If you feel like it. If you don't, then... I guess it's fine either way. Yeah. So, yesterday, came home from work. Feeling hungry like a wolf, I guess. I'm not sure if you have that expression. As hungry as I was, I could eat a horse and still craved for crave for some more. I don't know. Well, that's that's the oh, th th there's a hole in there. Totally forgot about that one. So come from work and um, go to the kitchen. Browse in the fridge. There's nothing to eat. Nothing that I would eat. Um, by birth, I am an Orthodox religion. My family is Orthodox, and I don't know what you guys believe. I, you know, I can't say I care. That kind of sounds rough, but I don't really care about what your guys' religion is. But the thing is, um, Orthodox people do this thing where they don't eat meat or animal products for a while. In um, in before Easter, they start about one point something months before, and then they continue all the way to um, I think it is Sunday. What is it? Friday. The, the Friday. The, the Friday in which Jesus was um, crossed. I think that's the word crossed. I don't know. I might be wrong here. Either way, um, so they do that, and um, I, I don't do it. I don't like not eating meat. I mean, chewing on veggies is all great fun and good games, but I like things that I put in my mouth to be chewy enough. I need to have texture and substance. And vegetables, to me, either they have not been cooked well for me, either I don't know, but I just. Uh, the best vegetable is a meat, in my opinion. So, uh, all the, the food that was available was all vegetarian, not even dairy products or anything. Just, just veggies, just nothing else but the veggies. And yeah, I don't eat that, so I figured, now nah, let's just boil some eggs. But you all guys, you guys know that I'm lazy as fuck. And I don't like um, spending one second extra doing things. So, I couldn't, I didn't want to look for, uh, oh, look at those lovely little red X's. I did not not want to look for a boiling pan or something to put on the, on the oven or in the oven or on the stove to heat the water and boil the eggs that way. So I figured, let's just grab this ceramic can or mug, put the, some water in it, put the eggs and stick it in the microwave. What's the worst that could happen? And I do that 
and um, set the microwave oven to about five minutes, no, seven minutes. It was specifically seven minutes, not six or eight, seven minutes. And then walk away and watch you do. Five minutes in, this loud bang, I hear this loud bang. I rushed to the kitchen and uh, as I was running there, it's not far, but it was still enough for me to have enough time to think about this. I was like, are the cops gonna knock on my door now? It was that loud. I was with the headphones on, decent volume, and I still heard it loud as fuck. So, I go in there, I enter the kitchen, the microwave door was slammed open, there was water dripping all over the place, pieces of egg all over the, the counter, the microwave oven itself was a complete mess, it took me about half an hour to an hour, I'm not sure exactly how much I spent to clean, spent to clean it up, but the moral of the story is, spend that extra minute, I okay? guess. Would have thought they took me way, way less time to find the damn f boiling pan or boiling container. God damn it! Should have, should have listened to my. Should have not listened to my. Um, how do you call it? The thing that told tells you to be lazy. Should have listened to. Should have not listened to that. But yeah. Well, at least now I know. Don't hard boil eggs in the microwave oven. Or else you're gonna spend half a half an hour cleaning it up, and on top of that, I tried the microwave oven. I started it up after after the fact, and um, hang on. After the fact, then it ran well. Um, it had some water in it, and I was jiggling it around and um, trying to dry it up. The water was pulling, pouring, not pulling, pouring uh, through all the seams. So I take it apart, put a screwdriver in all the screws, screw them open, screw them open, and um, just yeah, try to dry it up from the inside too. And I uh, plug it in, and everything is fine. It's it's running. The, the light bulb is uh, lighting up. The uh, platter is spinning and all that good shit. I mean, it's behaving like normal. So I put it back back together and. Uh, Put it back on the counter after I cleaned it up, and um, about an hour later, um, an apartment uh, mate comes in to the room from the kitchen, asking me, "Are you sure this is working?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure. I, I left it on." And go there, I double check, and it wasn't. And apparently, it's a fuse that blew up. It's not. Not that big of a deal, but there are not many fuse shops around here, this place. And now I have to go on a fucking quest to get myself a fuse. If I want to get some coffee or tea or whatever the fuck I feel like boiling now. So, <sighs> wish I took that, those, that extra minute to find one. I ended up just frying them and making myself a, some... Something I would you would call an omelet, except the uh, eggs were beaten in the frying pan. I keep trying to count this, but I cannot focus enough. So let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just stop the story for a second. Seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Finally, right. So there's that's the story with that. My microwave is microwave oven is a goner right now. I the only ca caffeine that I'm getting as of right now is through the use of energy drinks, which uh, I took a break from for a while. I used to drink about one liter of energy drink daily. Um, it's not a top notch, nothing. Um, Red Bull, Red Bull potency, just some, some mild shit that I grew accustomed to the taste, and I started liking it in a way. Well, not in a way. I actually genuinely like the taste of that energy drink. 
which my girlfriend finds completely and utterly nuts. She hates it. I, if I if I drink a, even one sip of that, I'm no longer allowed to kiss her. So, yeah, she hates it. But um, but yeah, I like it. So now I'm drinking that. It's probably not good for my health, but yeah, enough time to heal a heart, I guess, or. I don't know, whatever the fuck, energy drinks, uh, fuck up. Yeah. And here we are building, uh, this thing that I'm building right now, this is, um, uh, Zycraft tank, and I learned from my previous mistakes, do not build this over two chunks. If you want to build a Zycraft tank, at least in this version of Zycraft, maybe he fixed it, actually, I'm pretty sure he probably fixed it. I'm pretty sure he probably fixed it. Are you sure or not sure? Make up your mind! Um, if you want to build that, then make sure it's in all contained in one chunk. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with what I showed you last episode. This tank right here. This, this right here tank. This is gonna be a creosote. Actually, I think I've mentioned that before. God damn it, memory. See? See why I make plans? Or not plans, but notes. See why I make notes? Because I'm fucking... I have memory problems. Yeah. Totally. Ah, <sighs> man. Kinda hate that. I should probably get some vitamins or something. Oh, and um, not too long ago, last week, last last week or last weekend, I think it was, no, not, 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 bleh, English, how do, words, specifically. I think it was uh, not this weekend, but the one prior to that. I, uh, I come home from work, as usual, that's how all the good stories work. Well, I came home from work and I found, found my wife fucking my best friend. Mario. Mm -hmm. I can see a great love story. Hollywood be, will be all over that shit in no time. So yeah, um, come home from work, sit in front of the computer, game for a bit, and then, since I was, I don't know, I think I was drinking coffee or something, I lift my ass up and go to take a piss. So I take my headphones off, and I want to um, overly stress this. I did not abuse them at all. They cost me quite a bit, so I treated them extra careful. Extra careful. I would put both of my hands on them when I want to take them off. Both of my hands on them when I wanted to put them on. And all that quality, you should do this to pr prolong the, whatever the fuck, the, the life of your machines or machinery or whatever, you know what I mean. I did all that. So, Friday, two weekends ago, I tried to take them off and I end up with the headband and my right uh, ear speaker on in one hand and with my left ear speaker all alone dangling from the cable on my left hand and I'm like is this really happening? these are Logitech the G35s people are praising the fuck out of these this shouldn't happen this is Logitech this is a Top quality, or should be, top, top quality product from Logitech. This is, this is unreal. And, yeah, well, as soon as I realized this is happening and I do have to do something about it, I tried using super glue, but I did not have a, a recent enough super glue. The one that I have uh, had was probably several years old, probably half a year old or something like that. So instead of 
being runny and liquidy, it was kind of like honey in consistency. So needless to say, it did not stick all that, did not bond all that well. I tried um, gluing them back together. Uh, specifically, the pivot. The you know with the um, there's that arm that holds the the earpiece, and then that arm has a pivot that attaches to the headband. That uh, pivot snapped, and it's a one centimeter in surface area. That's I don't know a quarter of an inch surface area. It's plastic on plastic. So it was tough to glue, and of course it did not hold the first time. And then I tried, you know, people make things with rebar. I should grab um, a sewing a sewing needle, heat it up on the uh, oven, and try to drive, them, drive it through plastic. And uh, as the plastic cools, it should, I don't know, shrink and hold the needle as rebar. Well, it turns out uh, that did not go well. And the reason why that didn't go well is because there are actually two types of plastic in that uh, earpiece holder thing, um, thing MJ construction stuff mechanism. There is one type of plastic for the pivot. It's kind of like a softer plastic, um, shinier, more malleable. And there's the and then there's the other type of plastic harder, um, easy, easier to snap. It's kind of like the um, steel versus iron, you know, iron being all malleable and all that jazz, while steel just snaps off if you try to bend it too much. That's kind of like the analogy I would make. So, while the needle just pa passed through the softer plastic as through butter, it did not go all that well through the um, other type of plastic. <clears throat> so that didn't go well. So I had to take my soldering iron, which uh, I haven't used in a bit, heat it up and make a whole bunch of shitty smoke <laughs> inside. And mind you, this was about 1 a.m., 1 in the morning. Not noon, just midnight, one hour after midnight, I was trying to fix my headphones because I couldn't be asked to hold them with my, with a hand, with, with a hand, with my hand. Try to mumble like that. And I basically ended up melting the plastic, making a groove, in holding the two pieces with my thumbs, my, my, my thumbs, my fingers, holding two pieces with my fingers and um, making a groove with the, the soldering iron, kind of like um, a few <clears throat> millimeters deep and then start plugging that groove with uh, plastic that I got from some, some piece of plastic lying, laying around about the same consistency as the softer plastic, thinking this will weld together, hopefully. They did. They, they did uh, well together and that was uh, that's how I'm able to record right now otherwise I would uh, have not been able to but needless, needless to say I was very disappointed on Logitech not only um, not only the headphones gave me problems but also the mouse the mouse I'm using right now I, I uh, ordered myself a while ago um, G700 and about a month after I ordered it, my left mouse button started the double clicking all of a sudden. Whenever I want to do a single click, it would do double clicks. And nothing helped except um, plugging it in to charge. Or even when it was fully charged, um, you would still need to have it plugged in in, in order not to double click. Another thing that helped is if I would was to slam the the button, the left uh, the left button, with my uh, kind of like like this, with uh, one of my fingers, that helped for a while. I'm guessing I need to open it up, and I did not want to did not want to um, 
do the whole warranty thing because that would have meant a few weeks without a mouse. And I do not like that. I, I, I really cannot cope well that well uh, without a computer because <laughs> um, I'm a fucking couch potato. I sit in front of the computer all day and I get play games or chat or, or things, yes. Yeah, story of my life, story of my life. But yeah, yeah, that's that's the happenings. Oh, and by the way, the, the reason why the headphones snapped is because of the two, two types of plastics. They, they were not uh, fused together with screws or held together with screws. They were just um, welded or well, heat welded together, I guess you call it. <coughs> in the field of heat welding plastics and that did not hold all that well and I'm, after it broke I was man Romania does not really import all that, mu all that many quality products I thought these headphones will last me a while I would not need to go buy something um, exotic and <clears throat> after they broke I'm like I I heard some good good uh, good things about Schneiser or Sennheiser yeah Sennheiser sorry uh, so I go and check them out I'm like all fucked up man my headphones broke go check them out and not even not only their their prices are like pretty steep for my pocket they also they are not really designed for for gamers they are more they're the headphones are made for um, professional musicians all studio uh, headphones good quality um, playback but no microphone and I didn't do not want to buy at least not right now do not want to buy a um, like a Yeti or, or some other standalone, uh, what do you call it? Um, condenser microphone. I do not want to buy that right now. I do not, cannot afford it. And probably as of, as it stands right now, I really cannot um, justify buying one of those. I'm happy with, the, with this right now. So, yep. Things and stuff, and I'm kind of happy with how this building build is progressing. The um, um, the plan. Oh, huh, I have a. Huh, huh. Uh, I did not see this was empty. I guess that's the effect of having a glass viewer. It's all glassy and viewer-ish, like, yeah. And I'm all out of stories and. Um, not if, not saying those were cool or anything. Just, I just the first two things. I just wanted to let you guys know what was what was going on. I did tell you about the vanilla part, and I told you that I'm probably not going to get back to vanilla. Now I'm sure I'm not going to get back to vanilla. You know, from a pure let's play survival aspect, Beer Land is is still around. Such file does exist. I just have not played it since, I think it was 1.5. I have not loaded that map since 1.5 and I think that means something. I should have wrote Valve, not Velve. Velve. It's a Velve. Yeah. Beerland is not dead yet. I actually managed to delete the instance that I had with Beerland. And, then I, and I was so upset because that was my only copy of Beerland. And then I remembered, wait a minute. I did upload it each and every episode. So I must have a, a copy somewhere. And I did. It was, wasn't was very up to date. Uh, it was probably a month old. But 
It's still better than nothing, I guess. So, I have an older PLAN. Or an earlier PLAN than the one I should have had. <laughs> so, yeah. PLAN's not that. Still somewhere. Just not gonna play it. I think I've mentioned this way too many times. So, I'm gonna stop. I think I'm becoming repetitive. Also, I have no clue how much uh, it took me to record this. Probably rambled for for too much time again. Again. So, what I'm gonna do is finish this uh, this tank and uh, put some put the valves on. Did I just close my exit point or entrance point? God damn it! Yeah, I need to connect all these. And I'm gonna do that with some liquid ducts underneath and each one of these sides will merge into one of the sides in the tank. There's gonna be an output um, valve probably on the bottom. Maybe. I'm just gonna use these to make um, wooden ties and probably uh, the, the other thing. What do you call it? The thing that you make uh, fences with. Mm -hmm. Hang on, my throat was parched and starting to ache. Uh, sorry. But yeah, that's the whole purpose of this tank. To hold the creosote. And the uh, coke, uh, no, coal coke. That's gonna come in place later. When I'm gonna install some, um, the things with the bee. Blast furnaces here. One in each corner. Hopefully, the... Um, the these, the coke ovens, will be enough to fully supply each one, each individual coke. Uh, I just told its name. B Blast Furnace. Sorry for that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I intentionally wanted to do, make this episode a talky and not explain much from what I'm doing. I don't think it was... Uh, needed the explanation but some of you might think of that i don't know i don't know I, you, you probably don't you're probably not thinking that either way uh this was akatera and this was another episode i hope you didn't mind it and i'm talking about you bye see you later and all that good stuff have a have a, have a great day have a great day <laughs>